Pro CS5. Um, I'm starting off in Photoshop. We're going to create ourselves a document, um, an actual graphic, and then we're going to import it into um, Premiere Pro. So a few weeks ago, or about a month ago, somebody was asking me if I can create a graphic or a tutorial where I can show you how to create um, those graphics you see like on TV um, for like the 24-hour news stations like CNN or um, MSNBC. But this is um, a very simple thing to accomplish, and I'm in Photoshop. And I'm just going to remove the background. And I'm just going to do this on the fly. But, you know, right here, I actually, let me create a path. I'm going to go window paths. And I'm going to create myself a new path here. And then I'm going to take the pen tool. And I'm really just improvising with what I want it to be, you know. But essentially, I'm just going to like create myself a shape on the bottom. And then I'm going to come over here and select the gradient. And this is just really coming out of my head, really, you know, because I had no game plan for uh, creating this besides what I want to make it. And I'm going to click OK. And that's good enough for me. I'm going to deselect. And by the way, um, this document is 1280 by 720. And that's the dimensions of my video that I'm doing. So there we go. We have our document. It's, um, you know, it's a Photoshop document here. And I'm going to save it. And I'm going to select a transparent TIFF. So I'm going to go to my tutorial folder and call it graphic. Save it. And it's going to ask me if I want to be uh, if I want to save the transparency, and I have that selected. And I click OK. Include layers. Click OK. That's fine. I'm going to minimize um, Premiere Pro. I mean, excuse me. I'm going to minimize Photoshop. And I'm going to go File Import in Premiere. Select the graphic. And I'll bring it out onto the layer here. And there you go. You have the graphic on the bottom, and it's transparent. I'm going to also import my video. And this is just a previous tutorial that I created. And actually, let me take the video here. And since we're working with layers, and like in all the Adobe programs, you want whatever is going to be on top is going to be on top, and whatever is going to be on the bottom will be below it. So if I move along here. I'll extend the graphic to the whole video, and you'll see that the um, graphic stays on top. So that's a pretty simple step for us to accomplish. And then if you want to go even further, um, I could import my um, logo here. And what I'll do is I'll open up, um, let me open up the actual um, logo file here. And again, I have a transparent um, background here, and I'm just going to scale down the, um, the logo here so it's a little bit smaller. Again, I'll select a transparent TIFF. And I'll import it into Premiere. Under the effects controls, and we can adjust the opacity of the logo and leave it there. And that's that. So, and another thing you can do if you ever see, um, you ever see in uh, the news stations or whatever, they transfer the latest stories. So, if you wanted to, or if you're doing any other kind of video for that matter, Again, we can come up to new title, and I did this in another tutorial, but I'll show you over here. Adobe Easy Tips on YouTube.
And this is actually a good thing because we don't have enough layers here, do we? We don't. So let me create myself a new layer. So I'm going to add myself another track over here. And I'm going to select before the first track. Click OK. Move this down. And then I'm going to take that, um, that title there. And I'm just going to place it. Let me lock the other layers. And place it right there. So a very simple way for us to create that effect on the bottom of the screen where we want the text to transition, we're just going to copy the first uh, text that we have, and this is a copy of it, and we'll call it Title 2. Double click on it to edit it, and Adobe um, Tutorials will be the other text. And then what I can do is I can bring it out onto the timeline here. And that looks pretty good to me. Now, if you want to have it a little bit more smooth, um, you could do, um, you could work with the keyframes and I have another tutorial um, where I show you about keyframes in Premiere Pro and you can transition it with um, some keyframes or you can just leave it like this depending on you know what you're doing um, but that's it I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you guys later